Howdy folks and welcome to the Hillbilly Kitchen. Today we're making the world's easiest bread. We're making a two ingredient, that's right, just two ingredient bread. You can slice this and make sandwiches out of it. You can toast it. You can add other stuff to it to do other flavors. This is a base recipe. Uh, this is the one we needed two years ago during the great yeast shortage. <laughs> but anyway, all you need is two cups of self-rising flour and a cup and a quarter of whole milk. Now, um, I'm going to get this started and I'm going to talk as I'm mixing. Dump your flour in and add your milk and stir it up. You don't want to over mix this. If you do not have self rising flour, if all you have is plain flour, you will need to add a tablespoon of baking powder and about a quarter teaspoon of salt to it. Stir it until it's combined and don't overdo it. Now remember we are um, working with the same ingredients or part of the same ingredients as we use for biscuits. So if you over mix it, it's going to make it tough. The only thing that I'm not crazy about with this bread is it doesn't have that wonderful smell that yeast bread has, but it's no work no weight, no need. It's almost like an instant bread. You literally just mix it up and put it in the pan and bake it. Now you're either going to have to line your pan and if you want a loaf, if you want it to look like a loaf so you can slice it, you do need to put it in a loaf pan. You can bake it on a baking sheet just in a, a pone or you can bake it in a skillet or something like that in the oven. But if you put it in a bread pan, it will turn into a regular loaf that you can slice. I have made several in these small little loaf pans and you can get them at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 now. If you make a two cup batch of this, it will make three of those or one loaf. You can add other flavors to this. And if I was going to do two whole cups at one time, because I live alone, I would bake it in three of these little loaf pans. And I would maybe do some flavors in some of it. Chop up some onions and maybe add a little cheese to one and do some cheese and onion bread that I could grill and put sliders on. Um, I might do one with some cinnamon and raisins in it. Now you would have to just mix that up in here or maybe do one a blueberry bread like the blueberry biscuits we just did. Just add the extra ingredients in here, a little bit of sugar and the blueberries and maybe a dash of vanilla. If you were doing that in the small pan, of course you would have to cut everything back to a third, but you could take that blueberry biscuit recipe and do it in this and make blueberry bread. It would be delicious. And you can do it with all kinds of flavors. Now, that's mixed. You don't want to overdo it. You're either going to want to line your loaf pan with parchment paper. And if you fold it, put it on the bottom of your pan and fold it. And then put it in your pan. It will kind of take the shape. Or grease your pan. And you can grease it with any kind of oil, a little bit of butter. Anything you use to grease your pan, of course, is going to affect the flavor and the texture of your crust. I do like the texture that the parchment paper gives the crust, but it's just as easy to grease the pan and wipe a little butter or something in it. It does come out easier with the parchment paper, and you do have to let it cool before you get it out of the pan. But whether you grease it or you line it with parchment paper, all you do, once you've started up, is just add your bread batter, and this is more of a batter here than it is a dough, into the paper. And you're going to put this in a 350 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes. 
Now, if you're making the little loaves, they cook in about 30 minutes. It does make it a little prettier. You don't want to like hollow the center out, but you can take your whatever you start it with and kind of smooth the top out just a little bit to make it a little bit prettier when it's done. That's it, 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes depending on your oven. And in 35 minutes, you have a loaf of bread that you can slice, make sandwiches, toast, grill, whatever you want. And I wanna show you this over here. I made this little loaf last night. So it's very cold and it has been baked, like I said, since last night. You can see it's soft, not super crumbly. Now I did get a bubble under my crust, which kind of made it crumble a little bit, but you do that with any bread. But it's very soft not super crumbly, easy to slice. If it's cold, of course, it slices much easier. And the bubbles making my crust crumble. But you can see there, it makes a nice slice of bread once it's cooled. And sandwiches, toast, grill it, whatever you want. And this is still kind of hot, but we're gonna try to get it out of here so you can see it. Now, when it first comes out of the oven, the crust is very crunchy and it does soften up as it cools, which is probably part of the reason why you're supposed to wait and let it cool. Oh yeah, that came right out. So it comes out, you know, about as easy if you grease it. I just greased this one. Of course, this one's in parchment paper and we did the parchment paper, but it's cool enough now we can take it out of the pan. If you have a smaller pan, it will rise up more. These are kind of big bread pans and it doesn't rise up huge in the big bread pans. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind when you make it. You want it, if you want it higher, you need a smaller pan. Those are not. And you can slice it while it's still pretty warm. Be careful, it's gonna crumble when it's warm. Put some butter, some of that honey butter we just did on it. In fact, last night I had it with honey butter and then I made a peanut butter sandwich on it. <laughs> so it's really good for sandwiches. The only thing that it's really, really missing, I think, is that wonderful yeast bread smell. But it is fresh, it is hot. You can bake it every day if you want to. It literally just takes a minute to mix it and you don't have to wait on any rising. You don't have to knead it and wait again and let it rise again. You can have it on the table in less than an hour, 45 minutes. So if you need bread, this is a really quick, easy bread. John 6:35 says, And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Jesus is waiting. All you have to do is believe. Go to him, seek him, be made full, be made whole. Keep this recipe, it's a good one. And like I said, don't be afraid to add stuff to it, add flavors to it. Uh, lots of folks are gonna ask about plant-based milk and skim milk, it's gonna change the texture. Uh, it will bake with it, but it's not gonna have the same texture. The fat in the milk is what gives it this sponge. Thank you so much for joining us again in the Hillbilly Kitchen. If you haven't already, please don't forget to click like and subscribe before you leave. And please, please share our videos with all your friends. Until next time, remember to put God first.